Welcome to this week's Intuition Insight for week of the 6th of May 2024. Thanks for joining me. I'm Ruth Ann Richards, creator of the Intuition Connection, author of Reclaim Your Intuition. And I believe that when we live in tension, we are in flow, we feel empowered, we feel intuitively empowered and life becomes easier. And I would love more people to feel that way. The Intuition Insight is a little piece of intuitive guidance to keep us all connected to our intuition for the week ahead and I use my own oracle which is reclaim your intuition and this week's intuition insight is acacia so some of you may be familiar with the concept of acacia but if not I will I will explain it for you but what I want to say is if you consider yourself spiritual but not religious the acacia is something that may well capture your attention and imagination so the acacia or the acacic field um, is the concept of a storehouse, a warehouse, a place of information from past, present and future. All information, every piece and fact of history, every feeling, every you know inspiration, imagination, it's out there for us to tap into if we want to. So as humans, it's easier to explain it as a library or a warehouse or a storehouse because our limited conscious thinking can accept that, but it's not it's not visible to the naked eye. It's something that is visible when you connect from from that deep place of intuition. And it's the idea that there's a library in the Akashic field. And in that library, there is your book of records or book of life that you can tap into and you can look at the past and you can change the narrative of the past to stop yourself from feeling like a victim. You can consider the present and if you're brave enough, you can look ahead to the future. Now, I always say the future is never set in stone. The future is about potentiality and possibility. So that's the idea of the acacia. And, and this concept of acacia is millennia old. It's a very old, you know, ancient concept of what exists. And it's the idea of something that surrounds us that we can tap into, but we have to know and practice and learn how to do that. Or you ask you know, someone who's experienced at that to do that for you. But what I really love about the acacia as well is, which ties into you can feel spiritual but not religious, there's kind of no religious overtone with the acacia, it's just, it's just this universally, divinely, spiritually held concept. But science is catching up with this concept now, and there is an idea that there is this hologram, this holographic band, holograph, holographic band that is um that exists around the universe or around our planet that we can tap into so i love that because science is saying well actually yes yeah, something like this does exist and this is how we quantify it so it doesn't matter how you quantify it you get to choose what your belief is do you do you like the idea that science thinks a storehouse like this exists somewhere that we can tap into are you happy with the spiritual concept of, yeah, all that, all those things that have happened in the past have to exist somewhere, don't they? Just as when you imagine when someone passes, the body no longer exists. But if you believe that a soul or the some energetic free, their energetic frequency continues to keep going after they've passed, it's the same idea with, with history and concepts in time. And let's face it, everyone every day is keeping the past alive. You can look at programs on television, there's a lot of nostalgia, there's always programs looking back at, um, you know, tragedies that have happened in the world. This stuff is, is alive all the time, so it's not difficult to imagine that you can tap into this. But from a personal perspective, you know, it's a concept that can help you understand how you can be spiritual but not religious. One does not have to believe in a god or deities to accept the concept of the acacia and the acacic field. And if you're more into the scientific side of things, it's often called the quantum field or the unified field, connected to, um, you know, the theory of everything, a unified theory of everything. So how does this help us for our guidance this week? This is a reminder that not everything is always what it seems. So if you find this week that you have some triggers or reminders of the past coming up, where you felt you were a victim or you feel ashamed or you feel blame, you can change the frequency of that. You can change the vibrational frequency because that's what the acacia is. It's this, it's this sense of feeling. It's this wavelength. It's this power that exists, but we can't touch. It's not tangible. 
So you can choose not to be a victim and just feel that was circumstances. I'm no longer a victim. I'm now empowered because I've moved beyond that situation. I no longer have to see myself as a victim. I no longer have to feel shame. I no longer have to feel blame. So it's a reminder this week as well to stay in the present because that's where the magic is. You spend too much time thinking about the past and too much time worrying about the future and planning for the future. You miss what is going on today. So there we have it. Stay in the present with the acacia. And if you want to find out more about the acacia and learn more about it, I have some books that I can recommend that I'll, I'll put with the notes with this video. So you can read those too if you're interested. Wishing you a wonderful week ahead and I'll see you next week. Take care.